We're gonna watch a game between Doubt and Babarum. And I just realized I didn't start Capture Age. <laughs> I'm gonna watch from the start. Can I do scoreboard disable? There we go. Alright, so there'll be something along these lines. Can I pause the game here? Oh yes we can. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. And my plan is to look, look what I can do, guys. Oh look. He should wall there. And uh Maybe oh shit that doesn't okay that works bad. Like I think it should be walling here, maybe there, get like a wall there, you know, things like that. You should wall there, you know. Why is the game running in super slow motion by the way? Can anyone explain that to me? Help! How do I speed up? <laughs> Did we just teleport? All right, great start. Well, let me try this now again. So if I go like, every time I click that, it goes slower. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I might have to change some hotkeys here. Ew. Can you change hotkeys in here? Sorry guys, I'm troubleshooting a little bit here. Can you change hotkeys in Capture Age? No? Well, fudge. Uh, let me try to change this then. That doesn't work. What happens now if I do like now? It, now it speed it goes normal. Cause that's fine. You should be walling there, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. Okay, now it works. I just had to fix, fix some hotkeys. Okay, we're good. So we're watching Doubt against the Babarumer. I'm gonna watch from uh... Doubt is playing as the Burgundians here. So let's watch from Doubt's point of view, shall we? We'll analyze a little bit to see if Doubt is doing well. Or if he's not doing well. Um, Chinese name, which I never forget, remember. Thank you for 10 months. Just continue my subscription before sleep. Good luck, have fun, Mr. Viper. Thank you. Appreciate that. Eastside, thanks for 19 months. Pawn cakes with the 13 months. Can you draw to Tonic Knight on the map? No, thanks. Right, let's look at Doubt. So Doubt is playing as the Burgundians, yeah? You guys tell them I'm sweating. Okay, I think I gotta install my air conditioning unit already again. You might think that since Doubt is Burgundians, Babaroom should make camels. But it's not that simple. So yeah. Okay, a bit of a rocky start, but yeah, let's try let's try to now take a critical uh We'll do a little bit of a critical look here on uh, on Doubt's play and approach. So, we do Fog of War. Doubt has a fairly safe map. He has woodlands uh, wood on, on all different corners, so he can easily make a connected wall. So he has a base that is circled, you know? Like this, he has a nice and uh, safe little base that can't really be raided or attacked from any angle. That is obviously nice. Why is the game slow again? Oh, 
What is happening? Still has a tile gap there that he needs to uh, plug before he can continue. Sorry, still trial, uh, trial and error here, but it's all good. Yeah, Dot is doing the whole wall off, so we're gonna have to see how he proceeds from here. He already has a double bit X as expected with Begun this early game. If he wants to go for the mill as well. Let's play with his his point of view so he can correctly analyze everything he's doing. We're gonna have a fairly fast few lunch time, 22 pop up. Looks like he's leaving a space for a barracks there. Bit of a random question, how viable do you find scouts in the current wall meta? With certain saves, they are still very viable because of the map control it gives you. But they are less viable than in the past, for sure. So that is doing a barracks, looks like he wants to go for scouts. Which is naturally a uh, good move as the Burgundians. He could easily drop a town center here as the game goes on. There's also uh, options for TCs in this area. Even even on these areas, he has really nice TC locations for further carrying on the game. Yeah, on the field now, both players we have no presence from Bebarum yet. Let me just remove the game volume from the background quickly. There we go. Yeah, we're just gonna have a calm game. Doubt might not even do a stable, right? He's not. He's fully walled now, so he knows he's safe. He has zero scouting intel, but that's kind of what you uh, expect when you do a super greedy, greedy uh, approach like he's doing. You can see even even doing heavy plow and bow saw. But Doubt, true to himself, finishes two farms right before heavy plow finishes. So good job to Doubt. Uh, not maximizing the greed that Burgundians can pull off. But we had to play Vikings in post imp. Uh, usually Vikings shine in early imp. That's where you take the game winning lead, pretty much. That is now also just scouting, trying to confirm what the opponent is going for. But he already saw two scouts here of yellow, if you paid attention. So he can kind of predict now that this is a stable war, so no danger for doubt yet because he, are, he is fully walled right so he has nothing to worry about but um there could be a range transition afterwards but we can see babao room also is walling up now and uh yeah that probably feels in a very comfortable position you're never comfortable playing against chinese but but uh Burgundian's economy might actually match the chinese lead that is already there you can see that already sees that Bao Bao, Bao, Bao Rum is on uh, gold. Now Doubt has to think and figure out whether this is a fast castle transition or castle transition, or if it is an archer transition. That is what Doubt is currently trying to figure out with his scout. And he still is not sure, but he hasn't seen any archer range, so he can probably predict a uh, castle follow up here from Bao, Bao Rum. Uh, as he is doing something similar himself, dropping a stable now. You can see the resources quite equal. Wheelbarrow coming in for doubt. Wheelbarrow also for Babao Room. Snake is not playing. Not not I don't think I will play today. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see. Um, stable blacksmith in doubt. Not really much going on at the moment, right? We can have a look at the full map here to see Babao Room. Babao Room also Securing his base nicely. He's had a really nice TC spot in this location. Could easily drop a TC there, even on the backside here. TC there. Everything works. So uh, Babel Room has a really nice uh, base to uh, to set up his economy or further uh, develop his economy now. He's also completely safe but behind the walls. And um, he's doing a mistake right now. This has to be a blacksmith because he is currently lacking. Okay, we're gonna see the panic now from Babao Rum because he's gonna approach Castle's resources and he's gonna realize that he ain't got a second building. Well, he's got two Fuelage buildings, but they're both the same building. Yeah, there we go, there's the blacksmith and he's pushing four villagers on that. So yeah, doubt definitely with a smoother development with that in mind. 
double stable now, adding an extra scout just to take back some map control and getting some scouting intel as he will transition towards uh, the castleage and very likely play cavalier as well. Now, TC development for doubt. Probably this area makes sense. It's a perfect spot for a town center. You also have a uh, TC location in this area. Maybe even drop one in between the, the lumber camps. He has uh, plenty of options there. As he goes out with the village, a brave guy. You might also want to drop a monastery ASAP to make sure. Uh, yeah. You can get those relics and get that juicy bonus going. Nice. Yeah, very passive game, which is kind of expected with uh, Burgundians these days. Because you either go super aggressive against Burgundians, or you try to match their economy. And that's what Babarum is trying to do here. Yeah, Burgundians don't have to go Cavalier. Which is why it's not so simple, right? If they went only go Cavalier, then it's simple, because then you can just make Camel. But, yeah. Let's see. It looks like Babarum might actually be making Camel here. So maybe it's simpler than I thought. Castellage, 40 seconds faster though for Mr. Doubt. We'll see if he's thinking about town centers. He doesn't have the wood yet. He preferred a monastery first. So he will probably do a uh, town center later. Let's see if he prioritizes the next cycle of knights. Yes, this. And that's a cavalier. So three knights and one cavalier or cavalier upgrade is on the way. And the wood should be coming in for a town center as well very soon. Very likely he'll, he'll pull these villagers from the berries here and drop a TC either down there or on the stone in this location. Or he will just send them back to the top and ignore every advice I've ever given. Okay, now the TC spot is good. Uh, there's no com no nothing to criticize yet from Doubt's point of view. I hate to say it, but he's playing this Burgundians game so far pretty damn well. And that's nasty. Uh, gold shaft mining can be worth it, but it depends on how, how heavy you want to play military, right? I think that's the main thing with um, gold shaft mining. And there we go. Camels are in. Now, if you get Cavalier, which is on the way here for Mr. Doubt, he will have 12 attack on those knights. 13, actually. And there we have the TC that we were talking about. So it's still, is still this Cavalier are going to be really powerful and with the right numbers he can still take fights against uh, Camels. Because it's not that simple as they trade two Cavalier for one Camel there. Good trade for Bebarum. Why don't you use Twitch Tracker for your subs? What is Twitch Tracker? Born to believe. Thank you for the 32 months. Imagine becoming a caster before Doubt does. Feels bad indeed. Leo the Cat, thank you for the four months. RCL Vitoku, thank you for the prime. The Kern, thanks for the eight months there. Dumbwing with the prime. Adam with the whole year. Thank you guys, appreciate that. Not easy from doubt as well on the woodlands. So very nicely positioned. Macro wise, looks very solid as well. Even hand cart queued up, which is very cheap now with the Burgundians. So you might argue it's a little bit early. That wood might be better invested into farms at the moment, but um it is what it is. For the villagers, handcart. A little bit early, but yeah. Should be fine. Nice pickup there from Babarum. A little bit of a slow reaction there from our Lord and Savior. Still being active with the scout on the side, though. So that is very nice from Mr. Doubt. Regarding Doubt's TC, why not do two on the right wood line? One wood plus stone. Wait, why not two on the right wood line? One wood plus stone, one wood plus gold. So you're suggesting, uh, oh my god, I just slowed down the game again. Okay, you're suggesting one TC here and one TC there. This is not the best, like this TC right right here. <laughs> it's not the best for uh, wood collection. And also you would you would be uh, you would be taking only this side of the stone uh, effectively. So therefore it's not really ideal in terms of collecting the stone. Uh, I do agree though that a TC there would be very nicely. And uh, TC here as well could be an option, but you also kind of want to have um, you want to have TCs on both sides, right? Because if you have TC there, TC there, this whole area here <laughs> is uh, unprotected because there's no town center there. So imagine army comes in from the left side, you don't have anywhere to hide your villagers. Therefore, uh, you want to have TCs also on both sides. 
Yeah, first fight here, Mon Camel got converted, but yeah, that has enough Cavalier to actually fend this off. So ba Barum has to uh, uh, to uh, go back. Yeah, that, probably this guy is out of scouting at this point. Doubt just really wants to collect all the relics. Yeah, again, like there is no nothing to criticize from the outside yet. I think handcart might have been a bit too early. But yeah, I mean, if you look at the village numbers, Babarum is 12 villages ahead. Now, people are saying that Burgundian's eco is broken and ridiculous. But we can see here that uh, if you look at the economy tab, food, 800 more. The rest of the resources are in favor of uh, Babarum. So, um, and Doubt is trying to force the fight there against the camels. He does have better upgrades. No, he does not. He actually has worse upgrades. This is a terrible fight for Doubt. I have no idea why he decided to engage her. Made absolutely no sense, and he's just proving that Burgundian is going cavalier. You just make camels. Good choice. Yeah, very, very strange fight from Doubt there, and I would expect Doubt to have to make a, uh, another transition at this point. He cannot stick with Cavalier, although knowing Doubt, probably he will stick with Cavalier, but. Look at Doubt's wood inco income or eco. He has a thousand wood in the bank. That's not the type of macro we expect from our Lord and Savior. That wood should now be invested into three new barracks and start spamming pikemen. Because that's the only way he's going to be able to stabilize and retake any kind of map control. He does only have one relic as well here, does Doubt. So, for TC though, good for him. Crop rotation is a useless tech for Doubt at the moment. This will only come into effect like 30, 40 minutes from now. And I think that even goes for 5th town, so indeed. It still has 1000 wood in the bank. 5 TC, crop rotation. I'm starting to get the feeling that Doubt wants to go for Flemish Revolution. Uh, but yeah, he's given up all the map control in doing so at the moment. And even Babarum getting a castle on the hill and Doubt sees it immediately, so... Doubt is not in a good spot right now. He's definitely playing the yeah, 6 town centers. This it's starting to look a lot like Flemish Revolution, and uh, yeah, so how did that adapt from here? Still making Cavalier to defend from the raids, but no signs of any extra military. Bauba Rum coming in with the handcart now, and you can see Bauba Rum's resources are looking quite close to Imperial Age here. So yeah, Doubt is throwing all his eggs into one basket. This is uh, break or bust for Burgundian Flemish Revolution. And we're gonna have to wait and see how that plays out. He also hasn't done, he did crop rotation, but he didn't do the third wood upgrade. Which I do find quite strange. Um, that said, if your opponent makes camels, you boom. I would say he should have dropped a few barracks and made some pikermans. Because um, right now he has zero map control, zero map presence, and Babarum is on the way to the Imperial Age, and Doubt has 60, 35 food in the bank. So, um, it's this live game. It is probably a little bit behind, but I watched it from the start. So there's a chance they already are into a new game and whatnot, but we are watching it uh, in this speed here, catching up. I'm warm. I'm warm. Oh, that's fine. Okay, I'll just leave it open. Uh, Southern Jirakram, thanks for 11 months there. Born to Believe, thanks for 32 again. Uh, Esco, thanks for 2 years. And Jiminator within 9 months, thank you very, very much. Why the Fog of War? Because we are kind of looking at this from Doubt's perspective only. Doubt is now pulling far ahead in Village account, but... Uh, issue remains here. Issue remains that he is uh, he has zero map control. Babarum is in the Imperial Age, and yeah, I mean that again. He's putting all his eggs in one, into one basket, which is Flemish Revolution, and it can definitely work. It can definitely work, but it's still very tough. And you can even see here, like there's going to be a huge siege coming in here on Doubt Space from this area, which is kind of a hill. Actually, it might be far enough that Babarum has to go into this area, which would be downhill. So. This castle is fairly okay for Doubt if he actually gets it up. But yeah, Chukunu coming in. Ooh, the quick gates from Doubt. We haven't seen those before. But yeah, Chukunus are coming in anyway, so I'm not sure if this castle will go up. Well, when that when the initial 
building fails, send more villagers and you'll be fine. Yeah, bedroom with another TC on the top. Everything Doubt can see looks really bad for Doubt here. He's on the way to Imp as well. Two minutes. 20 villagers ahead. Now he needs to keep villagers alive because for him it's also about uh, turning those bills into military as we have how many bills do we have here yeah castle should go up 95 percent 97 90, yeah castle will go up and he will survive that but yeah trebuchets will be coming in and pressuring at this door anyway and bob has this super nice hill here um this hill here <laughs> is gonna be really hard to ever retake for doubt right and uh, that's a big problem for him um Babroom also has this hill, which also is going to be very difficult for Doubt to ever recover. So again, Doubt just has to get those village numbers out. He still has 11 villages in the queue. Uh, making some Costelier uh, though, which uh, also is... Uh, there's another TC. This has to be for uh, Flemish Revolution, right? I cannot understand why it would not be anything else than that. And Babroom is making camels, which is... Good for Doubt, because Doubt isn't actually committing on cavalry. He's actually going for Flemish. Which means that camels are actually quite hard countered by uh, what Doubt is doing here. Even a nasty disrespect town center from Babarum here. Uh, TCs? What is these weird TCs everywhere? Doubt doing a stable though on the side, so it's not all out Flemish revolution. It's just kind of... Flemish Revolution, uh, with some small things on the sides as well. This is not a tournament game, this is just a casual ranked game. This is why you see Doubt uh, going for Flemish Revolution. Maelstrom, thanks for 100 bits. Thank you for the victory versus Yo. I like to see you winning tournaments. Thank you. But yeah, here's the issue for Doubt. Trebuchet starting to put pressure on his castle. He doesn't have any army to deal with this as Babarum. By the looks of it, we don't see the whole army yet, and we can cheat and see it. But that's an army Doubt cannot compete with. And Doubt getting the last upgrades here for infantry. He needs to keep this castle alive. Okay, he builds another one. He needs to uh, have one castle so he can actually research Flemish Revolution. Uh, 151 villages so far. Getting closer. But the thing is, he has to win when he does that upgrade, right? If he doesn't win... Oh, he already did it. He already did it! Doubt, send your military! He did... Film Look at this APM, guys. He has done Flemish Revolution and he sent one group. Okay, another group. Okay, now we're talking, now we're talking. The Walking Dead are coming. Well, uh, insert uh, zombie noises. That's probably not what zombie sounds like. But either way, uh, the Walking Dead are here. They're missing attack upgrades still. But yeah, this is where Doubt goes for it, right? Doubt. He has bills in the queue, so he will get villager numbers going again, but... Again, this is a uh, doubt has to win with this push right now. Uh, go straight for the castle. So I'm not sure if he even did. Uh, did he do arson? I don't remember seeing it, but maybe he did. So yeah, doubt will clean up the traps. He will start putting some pressure, but question is, will he get the value he is after? And that is the question. Yes, he did arson. Okay, confirmed. Castle HP is going down quite fast, but he is losing those uh, Flemish militia as well but that's the issue with the camels the camels don't really have much damage output population babarum still up close to 200 doubt on 150 here and then um, numbers are dwindling but yeah i mean this is still super hard to stop there's 57 walking dead on the castle there and 13 raid in the eco of a uh, babarum so by the time all these units are cleaned up there's a chance village account is closer than you see right now. It also looks like uh, this castle will not go down. This castle went down for sure, as Doubt takes the score lead, and this is why this uh, technology is such a nonsense technology. Uh, population, suddenly Doubt is only 7 population behind, and Babaroom does not know what to make. This castle went down as well. I'm getting kind of sad just watching this. What happened here? Did he never finish that castle? Doubt. You forgot to build a castle, man. That's a doubt castle. This is why I get sad seeing this technology used. Now, I don't think Babaroom is dead here. 
Uh, he's just lost all map control. And he's gonna take some timer to stabilize. Still roughly 59 Flemish militia out on the map still. But Broom only has 10 army. But yeah, these uh, militia will dwindle down and... We're probably gonna... Honestly, it's weird, but we're gonna stabilize. And we are going to... Enter post-imperial age on quite equal terms, I reckon. At least that's how I perceive that this is going to play out now. Uh, but I hate this technology with a passion and I would love to see it go. Uh, so that population now almost equal, village account 20 more for Baboon. And dropping a castle on the hill again, but that will try to punish that immediately with uh, 26 Flemish militia and bomb cannons. Well, he changes his mind and rather goes for the attack, and now he's doing Paladin, Armor Upgrade. Good thing for Babarum is that he already has camel, Heavy Camel researched. What technology? I don't get it. Uh, Burgundian Flemish Revolution. Uh, revolution. It turns all your villagers into Flemish Militia, and it's absolute nonsense. And suddenly, after pretty much being put behind from the start, Babaroom is suddenly behind the villagers, behind the military, no map control. Well, he has that hill. He has a nice uh, castle on the hill here. So uh, that is obviously good for him. But uh, he did lose the castle on this hill, which uh, obviously we want, we want uh, to have castles on hills. Still has this TC though, the doubt has not reacted to. So... Uh, not everything is uh, lost here for for uh, Mr. Babarum, but yeah, the the, the uh, Paladin are certainly going to catch him off guard here. But uh, still, late game composition wise, Chinese should still be fairly better, I would say. As a doubt now coming in to hit this area, obviously we have a lot of gold miners there, 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 and there. And Doubt will obviously try to raid that a little bit. But being chased by some Chukunu, he never got Elite Chukunu, nor did he get Rocketry. Which, uh, if he had those upgrades instead of maybe Cavalier, he probably would have traded quite a lot better against the uh, Blemish Militia. Still only 10 population difference. As soon as these are cleaned up, it'll be closer than that. But yeah, we have Paladin now. And they are shown, so Babarum will know that the Paladin are on the way, so I would expect to see some heavy camels in production here very shortly. And today's lesson the professor giving a lecture on the Lord, indeed. Still, some. Uh, they still these units just don't die, do they? 75 HP, it takes forever. Nasty stuff. Yeah, I think he's trying to. Bubba Room is being a little bit too aggressive here now. He doesn't. Properly identify the situation. If he had realized how close the game is, he would have just sat back and built up the better composition. Because he still has a better late game uh, civilization. But he cannot take these types of bad fights. Or try to force the issue. But he's doing a good job so far. Uh, heavy camels are in production again as we saw. And Doubt has to react with uh, apparently more stables. I was expecting to see barracks here. But uh, yeah, Doubt is going for a full paladin and... Burgundian Paladin don't have bloodlines, and he's also missing the last attack upgrade, which is almost done. Still doesn't have the last wood upgrade either, which is something you should do with Burgundians, because you do have the uh, cheaper technology. And the trebuchet even survives, so suddenly, from that... This has been a roller coaster, right? You see, here's the, here's the game, right? And then, okay, so pink is... Uh, this is the timeline, right? Pink is Baba Room. Oh, actually, screw that. Babaroom is yellow, right? This is Babaroom, his population and such. And we have a uh, Doubt, which is blue. This is Doubt's timeline. Like there, and then... So this is the timeline right now, right? And currently, we can, if, you, if you see very carefully, you can see that uh, we have Babaroom with a quite a high population now, and Doubt kind of dropping down. So this has been a little bit of a roller coaster of a game. And... Uh, yeah, it's showing again why Burgundians have to rely on the Flemish Revolution. They just don't have the quality uh, late game composition to fight against. 
Civs that have like decent mobility, cavalry units with halberdier range unit composition. That's where Burgundians really struggle, and we can see now Doubt is in a big world of pain here. As the heavy camels counter the paladin, again, worse paladin. They have 20 less HP because they don't have bloodlines, and he just has no answer anymore. If I was Doubt, I would have kept making Flemish militia from my town centers rather than going for paladin, because I'm not a noob. But uh, Doubt is unfortunate for him. As he is uh, still one third population, still trying to go paladin, but yeah, it's gonna be too little too late. And I think we will see Doubt call it eventually. There's just no way for Doubt to ever engage this army right here. Uh, as, uh, yeah, like Doubt has 12 paladin, right? 6 paladin right now. 6 in production as well. Babaroom has 12 camels, and uh, that alone counters everything Doubt has. Castle went down, and yeah, how does Doubt ever attack in this area, right? This army here is untouchable for Doubt right now. He can never take a cost-effective fight, which means that his economy is gonna... He's gonna lose a lot of eco on this side. He has roughly 50 villagers. He has 60... 70 villagers on this side. And yeah, Babroom can just walk straight into the middle here, park his army right in the middle of the circle, and Doubt is gonna lose every villager he has up in the corner as he's... Still trying to get some raids, right? But what does this accomplish? Kills two or three villagers, it's his whole army. He loses 70 villagers, he kills seven villagers in return. I think Baba Room is fine with that. And I'm expecting Doubt to uh, surrender any second now. As Doubt forgot to turn his villagers into Flemish militia. He did not realize that those are not Flemish militia. That's not how this works. But he still went for it, and uh, yeah, there we go, villagers running back, Doubt is down to 96 villagers. And that number is gonna drop, and he's trying to take a fight here, but... Yeah, there's simply no coming back from this, and Babaroom taking the win in a very convincing fashion. Uh, and again, this, this just shows how stupid Flemish Revolution is. I've been telling the devs to remove it for ages, or change it somewhat. They don't listen. And that gives us games like this, right? Babaroom was winning, clearly. Then Flemish Revolution came, suddenly Doubt was winning. And then Doubt was stupid, and then Babaroom was winning again. And that's just how it is. Um, Flemish Revolution makes roller coaster games. You know, this is, this is this game, right? That's how it goes. Up, down, up, down, up, down, for both players. And uh, yeah, it's not really too much else to say than that. Um, Good job to uh, Baba Room here for uh, taking out uh, the Burgundians. It's not that simple, you know. So, army high, 156. If anything, you could criticize Doubt a little bit here for um, not maxing out on the village count before he did Flemish Revolution. Because he didn't really get to maximize uh, the potential there. So, um, I think he rushed that upgrade a little bit too fast. Doesn't change that it's a stupid upgrade.